Good morning guys, we're back in New York City. Yesterday I worked at Fies and today we're going to have a good workout in. So I just got myself a matcha at my favorite place. And recently I've been bringing this thing because, you know, plastic. So I'm trying to do my best. It doesn't always work out how I want it, but at least I'm trying. And I think that's already a big step. I'm waiting on Lawrence now because he's getting his matcha. And then we're going to the dog house. Dinner time. So we're at this vegan restaurant in New York. And like everything on the menu is vegan, but it's only gonna be a pop up, so it's wow. gonna be not for a long time. And as an appetizer, we ordered some mac and cheese, yes. but without real cheese. <laughs> but it looks so real. Wow. Right? Are you gonna try it first? and sweet potato fries with lemon aioli but without any milk so I'm gonna put some tortillas in here and like some sweet potatoes and make it like a bowl good morning guys it's another day I just got some flowers in that I'm very excited about okay I'm gonna open those later but it had a little note in there it said congratulations Romy You've been nominated for Model of the Year, YouTube Channel of the Year, and at the third annual Revolve Awards. See you in LA on November 15. So I'm so excited. It's always so much fun, the Revolve Awards, because like literally everyone is there. For me, it's not so much about winning, but just like the whole thing, how they set it up, like the whole awards thing is so much fun. And then everybody's there, so it's like one big party. And of course, it's great to win, but it's not the most important thing so i'm excited for that we're gonna go early to la already on the 7th because i have an event on the 7th and then we're gonna stay there for almost two weeks i'm very excited because it's been very cold in new york and i like some sunshine so i'm excited for that i'm gonna go change to my makeup maybe i'll film that a little bit for you guys and then I'm gonna go meet Lawrence because I did a workout this morning and Lawrence had to do a call. So he's working somewhere on his laptop. All right, here we go. Ready for the day. So I picked up Lawrence and now we're going for some lunch. It's very cold in New York City at the moment. You never know here, like one day it's warm and the other day it's like freezing cold. So we're going to the butcher's daughter for some lunch. I'm gonna have a kale salad with avocado, tempeh, and crispy shallots. And also I wanna try the banana pudding at Magnolia Bakery soon, because I've heard it's amazing. Time for so late and then I just walk out the door so he really knows he has to hurry up otherwise he doesn't take it serious so now I hear him brushing taking out the garbage <laughs> <laughs> and we're out it's Sunday today and last night we had dinner with Elsa and Tom Elsa and her boyfriend. It was very fun because we went back to the place that we showed you guys, pharmacy. And now we're heading to the dog pound to start our day there. But first, first we're grabbing a matcha. And 
right? Oh, this way. And look what I brought. My own cup. Well, I'm trying to use oh. less plastic. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get a matcha. Then we're heading to the dog pound and we'll do a workout. And then today is going to be a day of like organizing stuff, organizing myself, doing my nails. Lawrence is going to get a haircut. Yeah, guys, what do you like more? My long hair or to cut it short? What do you like more? What should I do with my oh, hair? This is a little crazy, but I never like it too short on the sides. Like I like it better a little longer, but not too long. It's yeah. like the in-between. But your hair grows so fast, so it's never for a long period that it's really looking good. <laughs> <laughs> and then what else are we doing today? We are... I have to go to the Fiesta to get some new underwear and then I think I'm gonna make some outfits because later this week we're going to Los Angeles and tomorrow we're filming a fun video for you guys I'll tell you guys later about and that was a little heads up see you guys in a bit Waiting on my matcha. Lately I've been ordering matcha with like a splash of almond milk or oat milk because I feel like I like the bitter taste of matcha more and more. But Lauren stopped drinking matcha though because he felt like it was too sensitive for his stomach, right? So I got my matcha. And now we're heading to the dog pound, what is right across. Sweet. Right there. You can see the sign. It's very busy in New York. There's so much traffic because of the New York Marathon. Why, why do people always honk in New York? Why do they don't, why do, don't they yeah, do it in Holland? When there's like red light, they start honking, but there's yeah, nothing they can there's do. There's traffic, there's traffic and everybody starts honking. <laughs> I don't know, like, it doesn't make sense. It's very so annoying. Ready for this? Oh, like we're the only ones in the gym. Yeah. Secretly like that. I like that too. Okay, we made it to the dog pound and we thought we'll film it here because here we don't have any honking cars. But Lauren stopped drinking matcha because... Because guys, as you might know in a, in a Q and A video, I explained that I have stomach issues. So when I was 16, I had a lot of stomach uh, acid like coming up and the doctor gave me like this medicine, omeprazole, and it helps reduce your stomach acid. So you don't have the acid reflux as much, mm -hmm. right? So I have been taking this for 10, 11 years. And then I read a lot of articles and research about the, 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 the side effects uh, of the medicine. If you take it long term, it can be really bad. So you don't uh, get some certain vitamins out of the food that you normally get because you yeah. need I mean, stomach acid is important, so you need it to digest your food well. And th there's like a mind-body uh, connection, it's really important and everything. Well, long story short, I tried to wean off from it, and I had to do it with diet. So I Yeah, had to he has to eat very clean now, so he doesn't eat like spicy food, or dairy, or alcohol, or any fried food. It's like a pretty yeah. clean diet, but you just feel much better. Like you don't feel. have the uncomfortable feeling in your stomach, and yeah. like sometimes it even goes to your neck. But I can Stressed. imagine it's hard because you're 28 years old, and like you still maybe wants to drink a beer once in a while, but for you it's like different than for others. Like for you it's like, okay, if I drink a beer tonight, then tomorrow I'm gonna feel horrible. Like not as we do, like with a hangover, but like horrible is in like pain yeah, right yeah, yeah. so it's not always easy but you take also this supplement right yeah so diet helps a lot but then again what I think my problem is guys I'm gonna tell you so the doctor assumed I had too much stomach acid that's why it always came up but I figured after 11 years I might always have too little stomach acid because that's the reason my food didn't got digested properly and that's why it came up sometimes so I found this supplement called Betaine HCL 
And it's basically an enzyme that helps your stomach digest the food, especially yeah. proteins, carbs, and everything. And also apple cider vinegar. So I have yeah. like a glass of like, I do a little bit of apple cider vinegar, fill it up with water, I take it, take two or three capsules of the, the beta in supplements. Especially when we go for dinner and you eat a little more or yeah. maybe something that's like not as clean then you definitely need it yeah you're still figuring it out right but still figuring you wanted out, to give you guys an update in general it goes a lot better Babe, I'm gonna do my nails yes. and you are getting haircut. This is before. Okay guys, the before. Look how long it is. Okay guys, so we're picking a color. I always go for something natural. I love the OPI bubble bath. So let's see if they have something similar. So I think we're going for number 12. It's like new but a little pinkish with a little white. Because this one is too pinky and this one is like right in between. I'm having it done at the same time. That's what I really like because it's always a lot of time. Okay, the nails are done. This is very short at the moment, but I was doing extensions and it like damaged my nails. So I'm gonna keep it like this for a little bit and then we're finishing up the toes. Okay, have my nails done. Lawrence picked me up because he's going to get the haircut, but wow. What did you do with your nails? I got the gel manicure, that's it. Like gel nail polish on the toes and the feet. Yeah. And it was $200. Wow. That's so insane. Like the New York prices are And then she was asking for insane. a Insane. Yeah, she's like, yeah. <laughs> Rumi <Rumi's laughs> gave her 10 bucks and she's like, uh. We recommend 20% <laughs> But I guess that's because we're used to different prices in Holland And it's still a lot of traffic Look at this I mean I'm, I get it, the, the rent is more expensive here and I mean I guess the lifestyle for everyone is more expensive here So they have to yeah, ask for a little more if you, But how, like many times, how many times a month do you have your nails done? Once Okay so once, so it's like 200 bucks per month I'm gonna run some errands, I'm gonna go to the Sephora buy some new makeup and then I'm gonna go to the PS store to get some new underwear you going to get a haircut and then we meet each yeah. other later yeah. let's see let's see the They're price again. Hey, I have no idea normally I, I do my haircut in Holland there it's like 50 bucks yeah what is the price for a haircut in your country comment below because I'm gonna find out the haircut price in New York Hey guys, I just came back from the Sephora and I wanted to show you guys what I bought. But first, I'm doing a ginger shot, a blend of coconut water, ginger, lemon juice with added cayenne pepper. I think this one is not gonna be very bad because it has some coconut in there. Not bad at all. We have a very small studio here in New York because we're not that much in New York anymore. And I think we're not gonna renew the lease. So we're gonna stay at a hotel whenever we're in New York. And the upcoming days we're trying out the hotel to see if we like it. So we can make like a decision for next year. That will explain why you see us in a hotel the upcoming days. I never really go shopping for makeup. I'm like that person that buys something once and like when something works, I never really change it. But I feel like because I want to show you guys a little bit of like different kind of looks I should explore a little more So I went to the Sephora And the first thing I bought is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation In the color 5.25 Because I feel like everybody is using this And it looks so good and natural So I'm very excited to try it This is the color Then the next thing I saw was this brush I think it's called the Mirror Finish Elite Collection from Art Artists. Yeah, Artist Makeup Brushes. And it looks like this. And the hairs are like very, very soft. So I feel like if you put your foundation on with the brush, 
it goes on like very smooth so it really looks like skin because sometimes when you use like a brush or like your fingers you can get like stripes i don't know how to call it but i think this will look better and it felt so soft so it's gonna be nice on the skin then i bought this tatcha the dewy skin cream because i'm all about a dewy skin so i think i'm gonna try to put this on first and then put on the luminous silk with this brush that's the plan hope it works out ultra hydrating anti-aging japanese purple rice sounds good then a new beauty blender i should actually buy cleaning stuff for the beauty blenders because that's easier than buying a new one once in a while then i got these mac lip pencils because i feel like mac has the best lip pencils because they're from wood so it's really they're very precise when you put the lip liner it's not like one spot is coming off darker than the other side it's like very very nice and easy to put your lip liner on and i bought the colors subculture and the other one is Dervish. so the one is a little bit more pink and the other one is a little bit more like brownish then I got the Dior Brow Styler Ultra Fine Precision Brow Pencil. And I think it's universal because I saw this in Rosie's tutorial. And it looked very, very nice because it's a very thin pencil. You can draw like real hairs, what I really like because I like a fluffy brow. I bought the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. Oh wait, this one is universal. And then the Dior one I bought in a color brown. I am blonde, but I always like a little bit of a darker brow. And then I saw this palette from Huda Beauty, Nude Medium. And I really, really liked it because I love brown colors and a little bit of glitter and everything gold. So this, it looks like this. And then the inside. No, I think I took the wrong one. Oh no. Well, this looks pretty too, but it's not really my color. All the pink and purple. I think I was supposed to get the nude light. Okay, maybe I'll bring that back. Or maybe I can look up if I can do something fun with it. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put it back in here, just in case I wanna return it. Then I went to the Fiesta store and I bought a lot of stuff. New workout outfit, leopard, so cute, with matching pants that look like this. And it's high rise, I really like my leggings to be high rise. Then I bought a lot of thongs, a new bra that looks very comfortable, looks like this. Then some pajamas, like this set that feels so soft to like lounge in, it's like this top with matching pants and i also bought this in gray so i'm gonna be wearing that in the hotel rooms the upcoming weeks and then a lot of like new thongs super sexy but i do have to wear them to work because that's the only thing that you don't see under the clothes and now it's lunch time so i ordered some lunch from postmates the order is being prepared it's a bowl with wild rice and salmon and a lot of veggies so I hope it's gonna be here soon. Then I'm having a meeting. And this is the after. I like it better. Yeah? Yeah, it looks very good. It's still long, right? Maybe yeah. It's too long or no? No. Right. Maybe in a week or two, but for now it's perfectly fine. Right. We're gonna end the vlog. Hope you guys liked it. And also I'm gonna put a link for the Revolver Words voting in the description box. description box. So I hope you guys are gonna vote because we're going there next week and it will be a lot of fun. I mean, anyway. So yeah, I'll see you guys very soon.